Aiken man accused of having pipe bombs last Friday was in court for his detention hearing today. Thanks for joining us. I'm Janice Rebholt. Sayla Estelle now with an update to a story where we first broke to on our app last week. Sayla. Janice, we just left the courthouse where the judge ruled that 34-year-old Dalton Mattis will remain at the Tazewell County Jail until his trial. The prosecutor shared concerns for public safety and his unstable housing situation. He's charged with unlawful possession of a weapon and possession of explosives. Mattis was a passenger in a car that was stopped for a traffic stop. Police reports obtained by 25 News Now show Mattis did not want officers to search the vehicle and he kept trying to lock the car doors. When the officers searched the car, they found multiple syringes and a padlocked bag, which Mattis told officers they needed a warrant to search for. After obtaining the warrant hours later, officers say they found two pipe bombs and a loaded handgun inside the bag, leading to an evacuation of those working in City Hall. Peoria Police Department's bomb squad were called to safely dispose of the devices. Pekin police searched at his apartment on South 2nd Street. After a brief standoff, Mattis surrendered and was taken into custody. Uh, we believe that we have recovered all of the materials um, that could have been used for making those devices. And we've, through the investigation and, and interview of the suspect, we believe that they were the general public was not at, uh, at threat. During the arrest interview, Mattis admitted researching how to make explosive devices. They also discovered there were three more devices inside. Mattis informed officers that he did not want to hurt anyone with the bombs and that he was not planning an attack. He told officers that the bombs and firearm were for his protection from undocumented immigrants and a corrupt government. Mattis was also involved in a prior investigation for a burglary in Pekin in April. His next court date is June 20th. 